ever wondered about the origins of one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, Zoroastrianism, or the man who started it all, Zarathustra? This captivating journey into ancient Persia will delve into these topics, exploring the rich tapestry of a civilization that left an indelible mark on human history. We'll unravel the mysteries of Zarathustra and his transformative impact on this ancient society. So, step into the time machine as we journey back to ancient Persia. The story begins with the birth of Zarathustra, an influential figure in ancient Persia. His birth, in either the 6th or 7th century BCE, marked the dawn of a new era, not just in Persia, but in the broader sphere of human spiritual thought. The world Zarathustra was born into was one of vibrant cultures and diverse beliefs. This was a period when the cradle of civilization was pulsating with new ideas and philosophies. Yet, amid this intellectual ferment, Zarathustra's vision stood out. His teachings, deeply rooted in the realities of his time, transcended the ordinary, offering profound insights into life, existence and the divine. His philosophy, emphasizing the eternal struggle between good and evil, was both revolutionary and transformative. This was a time of change in Persia. The birth of Zarathustra was the spark that ignited a spiritual revolution, leading to the rise of Zoroastrianism, a monotheistic faith that would influence generations to come. Zarathustra's teachings formed the foundation of the Zoroastrian faith, forever changing the spiritual landscape of Persia. Zarathustra's teachings gave birth to Zoroastrianism, a religion that profoundly impacted ancient Persia. This faith, one of the world's oldest monotheistic religions, pivots around the cosmic struggle between good and evil, a battle that played out in the hearts and minds of its followers. At the core of Zoroastrianism, we find a fundamental principle, the promotion of righteousness and the condemnation of wickedness. This moralistic ethos was not merely a spiritual guide. It was a call to action, urging followers to actively participate in the fight against evil by leading virtuous lives. The sacred text of Zoroastrianism, the Avesta, played a significant role in shaping this faith. Comprising hymns, rituals, and legal codes, it provided a spiritual roadmap for the followers of Zarathustra. The Avesta is more than a religious text. It's a window into the social and ethical norms of ancient Persia, reflecting the society's values and aspirations. The Avesta underscores the importance of individual responsibility, emphasizing that each person has a role to play in the cosmic battle between good and evil. It teaches that through righteous thoughts, words and deeds, one can contribute to the victory of good over evil. Zoroastrianism was more than a religion. It was a way of life that deeply influenced Persian society. Its moral teachings and ethical principles formed the backbone of social norms and legal systems, shaping the Persian worldview in profound ways. Zarathustra's teachings were not confined to spiritual matters. They significantly influenced Persian society. His philosophy promoted a moral and ethical framework that extended beyond the confines of the temple, shaping the very structure of Persian governance, justice and interpersonal relations. Zarathustra advocated for a just and equitable society where every individual had a role to play in the cosmic struggle between good and evil. This belief was mirrored in the governance of ancient Persia, where rulers were expected to be fair, wise and uphold the principles of Asher or righteousness. The leaders were seen as custodians of their people, with a divine mandate to ensure the well-being of their subjects. In the realm of justice, Zarathustra's teachings emphasized truth, honesty, and the rejection of deceit. Courts of law in ancient Persia reflected these values, striving for fairness and truth in their proceedings. The concept of retribution was also central, with the punishment designed to fit the crime demonstrating an early form of the principle we now know as an eye for an eye. Interpersonal relations, too, were deeply influenced by Zarathustra's teachings. The principles of good thoughts, good words and good deeds were not just spiritual guidelines, but a way of life promoting harmony and mutual respect within the community. Zarathustra's influence permeated all aspects of life, from the royal court to the common people. His teachings became the bedrock of Persian society, molding its character and shaping its destiny. Central to Zoroastrianism is the cosmic duality between Ahura Mazda, the supreme god, and Angra Mainyu, the destructive force of evil. 
This fundamental concept is not just a religious belief, but it also reflects the philosophical underpinnings of ancient Persian society, shaping their perception of the world and their place within it. Ahura Mazda, meaning the wise Lord, embodies the ultimate good, representing truth, righteousness and wisdom. He is an omniscient, omnipotent deity, the creator of all things good and the protector of humanity against the forces of chaos and destruction. Ahura Mazda is the source of life-giving warmth and light, symbolizing the benevolent aspects of existence. On the opposite end of the spectrum is Angra Mainyu, the embodiment of the destructive spirit. His name translates to the evil mind and he is the antithesis of Ahura Mazda. Angra Mainyu is associated with darkness, deceit and destruction, constantly seeking to undermine the good in the world. This dichotomy between Ahura Mazda and Angra Mainyu is not merely a tale of two divine entities, but reflects a profound philosophical perspective on the nature of existence. It is a cosmic struggle between good and evil, light and darkness, truth and deceit. This struggle is not confined to the spiritual realm, but permeates all aspects of life, influencing ethics, morality, and decision-making in ancient Persian society. This cosmic struggle between good and evil formed the backbone of Zoroastrianism and the Persian worldview. Zoroastrianism was not just a belief system, it was a way of life marked by unique practices and rituals. At the heart of these practices was the sacred fire ceremony, a symbolic representation of the divine light of Ahura Mazda. The fire, meticulously maintained and cared for, was a beacon of purity, righteousness and truth, mirroring the core tenets of Zoroastrianism. The religion also placed significant importance on the veneration of natural elements like water, earth and air. This reverence was not just about worship, but a profound respect for the environment, reflecting a deep-rooted sense of stewardship towards the earth. The followers of Zarathustra believed that by caring for nature, they were participating in the cosmic struggle against evil, aligning themselves with the forces of good. Zoroastrians also practiced a unique funerary ritual, the Tower of Silence, where the deceased were left in open-top towers for vultures to consume. This practice was born out of respect for the elements, ensuring they remained uncontaminated by the decaying process. Ceremonies like Navjote, the initiation ceremony, and Yasna, the primary worship service, were other integral parts of Zoroastrian life. These practices were a reflection of the deep devotion and spiritual quest of the followers of Zarathustra, providing a fascinating glimpse into the lived experiences of this ancient community. Despite its decline, the legacy of Zarathustra and Zoroastrianism lives on. As we delve into the twilight years of this ancient faith, we're confronted with a series of events that led to its gradual decline. The conquest of Persia by Alexander the Great was a significant blow, leading to the destruction of many Zoroastrian temples and texts. Later, the rise of Islam in the 7th century further marginalized Zoroastrianism as Persia came under Islamic rule. However, the decline of a faith does not spell the end of its influence. The core tenets of Zoroastrianism, its ethical principles and its emphasis on the cosmic struggle between good and evil have permeated other religious and philosophical systems. Elements of Zoroastrianism can be found in Judaism, Christianity and Islam, illustrating the enduring impact of Zarathustra's teachings. Zoroastrianism's reverence for nature, particularly fire, water and the earth, has also left a lasting impression, hinting at an early form of environmental ethics. The faith's focus on individual responsibility and the importance of good deeds resonates with modern concepts of personal accountability and social justice. In pockets of Iran and India, Zoroastrian communities continue to practice their faith, preserving ancient traditions and rituals, Across the globe, scholars, historians, and those intrigued by the mysteries of the past continue to study and appreciate the rich legacy of this ancient faith. Though Zoroastrianism may not be as widely practiced today, its influence can still be seen and felt across the world. Our journey through ancient Persia and the era of Zarathustra reveals a fascinating chapter in human history. We've delved into Zarathustra's birth and teachings, the birth of Zoroastrianism and its influence on Persian society. We've examined the cosmic struggle between Ahura Mazda and Angra Manu, explored Zoroastrian rituals and reflected on the faith's legacy and decline. This journey underscores the richness of our shared past 
and the myriad threads that weave the complex tapestry of human history. Stay curious, keep exploring, and until our next historical journey, goodbye.